Hey guys, Dan C. Bearded here coming to you today for a review, a new scent release, and a demonstration. I've never really done this on a review video before, but I've done a bunch of videos on Dead Man, especially in the last six months because they have been killing it and I absolutely love what they're doing. So I wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit and I'll kind of just jump right into it real quick. If you guys could hit that thumbs up on the video, it does help out on the YouTube side of things. First and foremost, there is a new set that is dropping today, and it is a banger, and that would be, let me see, show you guys here, get that label on there. This is Obsidian by Dead Man's Beard Co. If you guys want to pick this up or anything from this company at any time, I do have an affiliate discount code that is COMMAND15. Now, if you can't remember that, it will be pinned in the comments, and it will be in the description. COMMAND15, that supports the channel and what we're doing here. It saves you guys money and supports a great company. Company. Not only are we releasing this new banger cologne scent that I'm going to tell you guys about, they're also releasing their spray cologne to give it a little bit of boost and give something to match. So let's talk about this. I'm also going to put it in beard today, which I don't do often on camera because I don't like having my hands all oily when I'm working with the studio camera, but it is late afternoon. It is a heat wave of like straight up 90 degree weather plus I know some of you are like oh it's not that bad hey in Michigan it is a lot and we have crazy humidity so my beard is feeling a little bit still looks pretty dang good if I can say so for myself looks actually really big and really good but I'm gonna be hanging out with my wife today so I want to be a little bit fresh so I'm gonna freshen up the beard and I'm gonna put some cologne on didn't even plan on doing this video until like next week so I'm filming this ahead of time because I have been able to test out the scent and use it for a while now but I was like I'm literally about to put this in I'm literally about to spray the cologne why not demonstrate that as the video so I hope you guys enjoy it it's a little bit different today but to get into the scent on this new product here is what they call a rich and complex cologne for me it is a subtle cologne which I appreciate and enjoy and the two major notes that they have here are black currant and exotic orchid so Black Currant Exotic Orchid, not the most descriptive in the world, which is super fun when you get uh, colognes, because not everybody knows what Black Currant smells like. Not everybody knows what Exotic Orchid smells like. So let me get you guys my feel by smelling it here as just a reminder, refresher. I've obviously worn it tons of times before doing this. Oftentimes people are like, why even smell it in the bottle? That's not real. It doesn't help. It's a refresher. It's for the video to kind of bring all that thought back. Then I'm going to apply it in beard and then give you guys more of a take from there. Yeah, this is very, very nice. It's subtle. It is in the like floral, citrusy, mineral world, if that makes any sense. I definitely get some kind of like natural mineral type scent. I don't know where that comes from, but I love it. And then you just get a nice, smooth cologne. This is a modern cologne, a new age, a young man's cologne in all the best ways possible. Mm, okay. So I'm going to get this in beard here, and the carrier blend is insane. You guys have probably seen it on this channel. Listen real carefully here. Argan jojoba, baobab, broccoli seed, emu, meadow foam, avocado, castor, rice bran, and black seed oil. Whoo, goodness, medium viscosity, one of the very best for feeling beard and for styling straight up. If you don't believe me, check the comments down below. If anybody's had experience, feel free to share. If it's not for you, that's okay. If it's for you, that's okay too. Put it down in the comments. Okay, so I'm gonna get this in beard. So I'm gonna prep it like I normally would, you guys. First, oh my goodness, English, Dan. First things first, wash your hands. I did that already, right? No nasty fingernails or dirty hands there. I did it before the, the video. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my beard damp. So I'll just run the water here. It doesn't have to be hot, doesn't have to be cold. I just kind of go room temperature. I just simply get my hands just a little bit damp, just under the sink, rub them together, kind of flick off. They're not like dripping crazy, it's just damp. And then I always start out from underneath, kind of get down to the skin, and then I run over the top like this, run through the beard, maybe once in a while go down with the fingers. And then I have, let's see you got here, got a little towel ready. Then I have a Chicago comb number eight, cleaned and ready to roll, nice and gentle. Now my beard is damp, so I feel good about combing it, but I do not want to go too fast because, especially midday, if I'm going too fast, I'm going to get tangles and snags, 
and I don't want that. All right, so I comb through. Yes, I do comb through before oil. I like to just have a fresh canvas. So for my normal morning, I use two dropper tops full of Dead Man's Beard Oil. For the refresher, I'm gonna use maybe a half dropper. Now a little step, I do take off my wedding ring when applying oil. Do I need to? I don't know, but it's just this little flimsy like rubber silicone type one because I don't like the feel of metal rings. And I feel like sometimes the fragrances or other oils could kind of wear away at it. So if you see here, I've got almost a full dropper top. I'm just gonna go about a little, little half ski, maybe a little bit more. Sometimes I have a plan and then I see it in hand and I'm like, nah, not today, not enough. I don't, have you guys been there where you're like, I normally would do this, but I just had a sense. And so I go through, kind of warm it up in my hands, spread it out. And then I'm gonna go underneath first lightly and then back down for those finishing touches. And if you notice when I get underneath, I do a little shake. Why? I don't know, it just feels right. <laughs> All right, then I'm gonna come back over the top really kind of focus down towards the ends, especially for this refresher to have a nice little dip. Oh my God, this smells good. Mm. There's a little bit of powderiness to it. That's kind of that, that uh, element mineral type aspect to it. Mm, 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 mm. You guys, this smells freaking wonderful and it really does come to life once you get it in beard. I, again, I would say that there's a mineral type cologne scent to it. There is a powderiness to it in the world of talcum powder, but not just straight up talcum powder. Kind of suede like, there is a sweetness with the orchid. There is a nice kind of natural, also in the Swedish kind of world in the black currant. It is really, really wonderful. There is not another scent like this in the entire beard industry. I can tell you that with confidence. All right, now the cologne. Again, I'm learning, but I'm not the biggest cologne guy in the world. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna spray to my like forearm area here, right? Not my watch, because uh, I, I don't wanna take my watch off, so I'm not gonna do it there. So I'm gonna kinda do it on the forearm area, and then I like to do the back of the neck. That's my main area. Try to avoid the beard at all costs. Uh, but my main thing is trying to get it to the, the neck. Okay, so I got my spray on there. Now I know this is against the rules and people say don't do it, but I do dab it to the other side. That's how I spread it out. I don't like too strong of a scent. And then I'm coming back here, a little spray, walk into it. And that's all I do. Normally I do two, two sprays of the cologne. And for me, that is more than enough, more than enough. So we got a couple of things wrapped into one video today. A new scent release of Obsidian from Dead Man's Beard Co. Spray Cologne from Dead Man's Beard Co. And I think for the first time ever on the channel, a midday refresher demonstration right on video, all into one review. Let me know down below, you guys, any experiences you've had with Dead Man's Beard Co., the scents, the products, the customer service. I'm very proud to work with this company because of the answers I know are coming. You guys love this company because they're doing it the right way. Again, if it's not for you, please feel free to share. Be mature. Be fair with it. Sometimes people just go off the rails and start saying stuff that's not true. And they'll be like, hey, man, what's up with this guy? And they're like, can I show you the message? This just doesn't check out. So be fair, right? We don't need to bash anybody. But if it isn't your thing, for whatever reason, feel free to share. I don't delete those comments at all. I open everybody to sharing any of their, their thoughts and opinions and, and especially their experiences. Okay, got that, got that, got that. If I can recommend more from Dead Man's Beard Co., I really like Agave Tides is a, an amazing one. Um, also, the Arctic is, woo, baby. And then the entire essential line and absolute uh, line, it's all natural. That's kind of my go-to. But man, on a date night like this, this is where it's at right there. Goodness gracious. So get those comments. Can't wait to read them. Thank you guys for watching today. Dancy Bearded, please stay bearded and stay positive.